Hi guys, it's Sam and Ava, and I thought I would do an update video since I haven't made a video in what I feel like is a long time. I think it's been over a month, and I just, I was going to put this into an empties video, but the empties video just became longer and longer because I was just talking so much. I was like, you know what, let me just scrap that and just do a regular update video, and I, the, for most of April, I was very sick. I, allergy season is upon us, so that's why I sound nasally, but I had really bad allergies. I think that turned into laryngitis, and I could not speak for probably over five days or so, which is, I have, I don't remember losing my voice since I was a little kid. I'm sure I've had, like, other things in between them, but like that, it was really bad, and um, I had to take off work, which I hated to do, and then I had, so I healed from that, and then I had gotten bronchitis, so that was fun right after losing my voice, and then I got a cold sore, which it's still, it's healed, but now there's scarring there, because it was a pretty bad one, this was like a mutant strain, it's supposed to heal in like 7 to 10 days, but I had it for over 2 weeks, so that was just it was so much fun to have a cold sore during my spring break. I can't tell you. Uh, and then, um, I, Ava, oh, at the end of March, Ava, she had gotten, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but she, her breath was smelling really, really bad. And I was just like, oh, she's a dog. She must have ate something. I'll stop giving her people food. Um, I'll... I don't know, you were just, I was just making up all these excuses in my head as to why her breath was really smelling. It was terrible, like, just so, so bad. And so, I finally took her to the doctor, to the vet, and he was like, I'll go, I'll clean her teeth, and you have to, be, they have to be put under, because, could you imagine trying to clean a dog's teeth? Um, so I picked her up the next day, and she actually had cracked her tooth, and it was starting to, like, I don't know if it was on a bone or just her teeth aren't that great. So um, he her teeth looked amazing, by the way. If, if your dog's teeth are not looking 100%, you should bring them to get their teeth clean because, hello, because they um, really do a good job, and... Um, she, yeah, she had, he had given me a piece of her tooth that, like, cracked and stuff, so, um, her breath is not, still not, but he had told me that, you know, she has, it looks like there's, like, some issues on that side, so keep on watching it, and so, not ter smelling terrible, but it's still, I don't know, she seems okay, um, but, yeah, she had gotten oral surgery, and, uh, another thing that's been going on with me is my mom, who, if you've been watching me for any, for a long time, she had cancer and um, she had to have surgery again for it, and um, she wasn't eating for the past two weeks. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna stop that, but you know what? I just keep on going. <laughs> That was really weird. You probably are like, what is she doing right now? But you know what? That's I'm just not gonna stop it and refilm again. So she had to get surgery. She wasn't eating, and if you can't eat, you can't have chemo. And it was really scary at one point. I was very scared, and uh, she's on the mend again. She's home, which she's so happy about because she was in the hospital for like over two weeks, and it was. A really tough time and she um, the surgery she has to she was already living very differently um, since the cancer but now she, her life has changed a little bit more so um, just keep her in your thoughts and prayers because she I feel like that putting that energy out there into the universe is really helpful and um, yeah, she's just so strong. I had spent Mother's Day with her in the hospital, and, um, I'm so glad that she's able to be back home now, so, uh, we were dealing with that for a little bit. I did go away, though. I did go away for spring break, and I went to 
Rehoboth Beach in Delaware, which is kind of like a beach town. And it was so nice. I was able to bring Ava. Right, Ava? Uh, I stayed at a bed and breakfast called Bewitched and Bedazzled. And it was a really cool place. If you are looking for a place to bring, it was on the expensive side. Uh, but they did give you an awesome breakfast, and she did so well. Um, now, if I were to go again, which I do want to go back, I would like to stay at a place where there is a pool. And unfortunately, those kinds of hotels, they don't really let you bring a dog. Uh, but if you're looking for a place uh, that's family-friendly and you can bring your dog, that uh, bed and breakfast was really awesome. Uh, but there's so many other places you could stay at and it was off season so it wasn't crowded and it was just really really nice. I'm sorry but do you want to sit down? Just a few more minutes okay? So um, I went there for spring break and I I already have my vacation plan for the summer. I am going on a cruise, my big vacation anyway. I'm going on a cruise and I in July and I am just so excited. So excited in fact that I have a bunch of things to haul and now I'm just certain things that I feel like I need I don't know I probably don't need any of it but swimsuits are out right now in stores and I don't want to miss out and get it in the summer because they start putting fall stuff out so I had gotten a couple of swimsuits and some beach cover-ups things that I actually did not have and I want to get a few more things. I'm not going to get a whole new wardrobe for this cruise, but I definitely want to get like a maxi dress. I don't own a maxi dress. I used to at one point, but I think I sold it because I never wore it. But I feel like it's going to be essential on this cruise. Uh, the last cruise that I went on was in 2009, and I absolutely love it. I do love cruising. I know some people are like, oh, that's for old people. But I really like being on a ship and being surrounded by water. And it's a fun way to visit places that you maybe don't get a chance to visit. Um, so we're going to, I'll do more videos on this later. I think I want to do a packing video, and I want to do, I'm hoping to do vlogs for this cruise, but... Me and vlogs just don't get along. And I um, also want to do outfits of the day and night. Uh, so I'll talk more about the cruise later. But we are going to Puerto Rico, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, St. Thomas, and Grand Turk. So I've been to Grand Turk already, but the other two places I haven't been to. And I'm just... I am beyond excited for this cruise. Really, 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 really looking forward to it. Um, but it's not m for more than... It's a few months away still. So, uh, work. Uh, very busy because end of the school year is coming. And as you know, I work in Brooklyn. Uh, but I'm looking to work where I live, which is Staten Island. Because the commute has been pretty brutal for me. A uh, couple of accidents, not my fault. I know we always say that, but not my fault. And looking for parking has just been... I'll get there at at 7.30 and I will be driving around for an hour, sometimes more, where I'll have to, where I have to call work and say I'm going to be late because I'm still looking for parking. And <sighs> I know... I shouldn't complain about it. I'm very grateful to have a job, but it's also making me like not want to go to work um, because I love being at work, but it's just the before that is killing me. Uh, but I mean, I'll take a, I'll take the traffic and not finding parking any day um, of the week um, just to be working. Uh, so I am just busy with that and trying to figure out what I'm going to do for next year. I hopefully if whatever I plan I have doesn't work out um I still would be able to go back to this place which I think I should I think I will which is great to have that kind of security um I'm just thinking of what else that I want to talk about oh I am hoping to because I was thinking about the summer and I've just been really into the I into the idea of okay Sorry, let me let her down. Okay, hold on. There you go. Uh, I've been really into the idea of getting laser hair removal, and so I finally decided to make an appointment. I am scared, but also just the idea 
of not having to shave as much. I know it's not permanent, but just having to not shave as much and get the darkness away from that area, uh, it just sounds wonderful. I know a couple of people that have gotten it done, a really close friend of mine, and then my sister's uh, friend has also gotten it done, and they really, really have enjoyed doing it. And uh, I've read blogs and watched videos, and everybody, the I feel like are they say basically the same thing. The con, the pros outweigh the cons. So I am pretty excited to get that done. And I think that was it. I know that was a lot of stuff to get through, but I thank you guys for for those of you who have stuck around and uh, comment on my videos and watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Let me know what videos you would like to see from me in the future. I have coming up a makeup related empties video. Uh, a haul video, which is mostly going to be like crew stuff. Uh, there's some other things thrown in there, but uh, mostly cruise things, and I think that's it for right now. So please let me give me ideas on what to do for this chan for this channel. Okay, so that is my update video. I hope you guys are all doing very well and enjoying. Finally, it was raining for like the past two weeks, but now it is. And then I think it's going to actually rain again tomorrow, but that's okay. I'll take a couple days of rain over like two weeks of rain. I, you know, I do, I like the rain, so it wasn't that bad, but I am enjoying the sun as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying this nice weather that we're having, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.